Selections may not be the heart of Photoshop, but they're certainly close to it because selections allow us to cut, copy, or otherwise alter groups of pixels without affecting the entire photograph. The primary selection tools are the rectangular and the elliptical marquee, the lasso tools, the lasso tool, the polygon, and the magnetic lasso, and we have the quick selection tool or the magic wand tool. The marquee and the lasso tool select pixels simply by drawing a box or a border or an edge around them, whereas the quick selection and the magic wand tool select pixels by their color and value and proximity to one another. We're going to start with the rectangular marquee tool. And it's a fairly simple tool to use. It makes a rectangular marquee around the pixels you wish to select. I want to take this box. I'll click here. See my cursors occur across here. And I will click and simply drag around the pixels that I want to select. Pull that down a little bit more. And there's my selection. I can now only work inside of this selection. So if I take the brush tool and I paint in here, I can only paint inside the selection. You see that my black line stops at the edges of the selection. I'm going to Apple Z out of there. My selection, you'll notice that in my selection, uh, the cursor changes. If I move here, I can move the selection by grabbing inside of it and moving it around. Okay. If I want to make a new selection, I can simply click anywhere in the image and my selection goes away. Let me redraw that selection. And you'll also notice that my selection doesn't quite match the building here. You can see that the building isn't square and this is a little bit low, a little bit low here. So what I'm going to do is go to the select menu and in the select menu down near the bottom you'll see transform selection. So I'm going to click on the transform selection. That puts transform handles around here so I can click in these handles and I can drag this. I want to distort this. I want to push this corner up and I want to push this up a little bit and maybe move that. So I'm going to right click or control click in here and click on distort and that changes my cursor to this single headed arrow and I'm going to grab that and I'm going to move this up and in a little bit and I'll pull this corner up and when I'm done, up in the options bar, I'm going to click on the green check mark, and now I have my selection, and I've moved it and conformed it to fit on the around the box that I have here. Now we're going to talk about the elliptical selection tool, the elliptical marquee tool, and I want to select a circle. And I can select the circle by clicking and dragging over it, and you'll notice that's kind of hard. I can move this around while I'm drawing the selection. If I hold down the space bar, I can move my selection around in the process of drawing it. When I let go of the space bar, I then again get to move that down there. And that's a pretty good selection. I've pretty well surrounded that. I'm going to just hit Apple D, which is the deselect command, or Control D in a Windows machine. I want to show you a little quick trick. I'm going to blow this up a little bit, a little bit larger. Yeah, that's a little too large. Let me come back one. I'm going to drag out some guides, and guides are easy. You must have the rulers up. That's under the View menu, Rulers, okay, or Command-R or, or Control-R on Windows. I want to click in the ruler, and I want to drag out a guide, and I want to bring that guide down until it just touches the circle. I want to bring this guy in, just down there. I want to drag another one in from the bottom to t touch the bottom of the circle. And then I'm going to go across here and I'm going to grab and hit that side and touch that circle. And now I'm going to take the, my tool. I want to put the crosshair right at the intersection of those guides. I want to drag down until I get to the intersection of the other guides right here. And voila, let me hide those. And it's a much faster way to draw the selection than trying to move it around and trying to make it fit. Let me turn that off and I'll turn my guides back on again. I can also draw a selection from the middle, okay? And I want to drag two more guides here. I want to put one in the center, where I think that looks to be about the center of the circle. I want to bring one down here and put that about in the center of the circle. And I'm going to hold down the Option key, or the Alt key. Well, I won't do that. I'm going to hold down I'm going to click with the mouse and then hold down the Option key. I have to click with the mouse first, 
and I can draw from the center out. And I'm leaving my other, I left my other guides here. Now you see I missed a little bit. I'm not quite as accurate as I was before. Um, I'm probably not quite in the center of this of this guy. Um, so I'm going to hold down the space bar and move that over a little bit more. And so I'm not so this guides didn't uh, do me any good in there. But I can drag out from the center. Let me deselect that. And I'm going to get rid of these two guides. To move the guides, I want to go to the Move tool, which is up here. And I'll just grab these guides and just move this guy out of the way and get that guy out of the way. If you want to constrain your, your either elliptical or rectangular marquee to a perfect circle or a perfect square, you want to hold down the Shift key. And I want to go to the center here, kind of in the center. I want to click the mouse, put my finger on the Option key, put my finger on the Shift key, and when I drag out, you can see that it forms a perfect circle. Okay. And now I can come in here. Hmm. Interesting why that changed. And I can grab this and just I'll move it around till I get it where I, where I want it. And again, I could go to the um, Transform Selection tool. We can also combine selections. And I have this image here of a doorway in London. And I'm going to combine a, an, an elliptical marquee along with a rectangular marquee to select both the fan light and the doorway. I have some guides that I already made that I dragged out to fit against here. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drag down with the elliptical marquee. I'm going to drag down and adjust the size just by moving, dragging, pushing up and down until I meet. There we go. I got that. Now there's my elliptical marquee. And now I'm going to switch to the rectangular marquee to select the rest of the doorway. In the options bar, you'll see up here on the left, there is the new selection. There's the add to selection, subtract from selection, and intersect. I'm going to choose the add to selection. I can also do this by holding down the shift key without change, without using the tool in the option bar here. I'm going to grab up here now. See that there's a little plus sign. And I'm going to just drag down here. And I've now added to my selection. Let me hide those guides. And I'll make a little, I'll make a little curves adjustment here just to show you the diff show you what happens. If I grab that curve now, you can see that I'm only adjusting the inside of my selected area. We'll get rid of that. So that's a combined selection. Adding to the selection, either use the add to selection box in the options bar or hold down the shift key while you drag, it'll do the same thing. Now I'm going to talk about subtracting from a selection. And I've got a selection here, and I'm going to blow this up a little bit. And I'm going to, again, drag out some guides. Bring my guides in here. Bring this guide over here. And bring a guide down here at the bottom. And I'm going to click with the elliptical marquee. And come in there. And I, I've made a selection of the flower pot. I want to drag that over just a... Oh. Now, you see how this is snapping? It, won't, it kind of wants to snap there. Hold down, with the mouse depressed, hold down the uh, control key in, Win, in Macintosh or Windows. And that works. And I got my thing that it doesn't conform. I'm going to make an adjustment, select, transform selection. I want to push this end up a little bit. And I'm actually going to grab this and I'm going to right click in there and I'll click distort. I'm going to pull that out. And again, it's snapping, so I'm going to hold down the control key here just to keep that from snapping. And there I've got that. And I'll click on the, I can also just hit the enter key and there, there is my selection. Now I want to get rid of the, I want to cut this part out of it. I want to bring this guy up here. I'll take the move tool again. I want to drag these guides down to this guy. And I'll bring this over here and I'll bring this over here. And I will take my key and my key. And this time I'm going to click on the Subtract from Selection tool. And I'm going to bring this down. 